Hey Alex, um, you are adorable and I love you and you are so welcoming and I know we are also thankful for you. Hey Alex, um, I'm going to really, really miss you, um, but hopefully you're going to stay in Hattiesburg because I'm going to visit you. I know where you live. Okay, bye. And you were so funny and so sweet and I mean, what's not to like? Um, I just wanted to say thank you for being one of my first friends at the Wesley and for always making me feel welcome and for kind of taking me under your wing and just um, always being there to talk and to explore campus with. I just wanted to say that um, I've really appreciated your friendship uh, over the years and I just really admire your heart and just how you care so much for people. Why, hello, Alex. Didn't see you there. We would tell you goodbye, but when we do this, it's like you never left. Hey, Kat. Um, I'm so glad I was able to meet you this year. You have been a shining light in my life, especially since you were one of the very first friends that I met on campus. Thank you so much for always just being encouraging of me and just for being awesome. So I am so excited to see your classroom next year and I can't wait to hear all about it. So have so much fun this summer and love you. Thanks for just being a sweet, great, genuine friend um, for the entire time that I've been here. I have no doubt, without a doubt, that you are going to just have an amazing time out there. So I'm going to miss you terribly. You need to come back and hang out with us. Well, I'm so thankful to have met you through the Lucky Day program and to have Rune with you. You have become one of my best friends and I'm so thankful for, the, for those times. Catherine, in honor of your friendship, our years together and just our relationship at the Wesley as a whole, I've decided to honor your amazing ice skating talents. You're an amazing person, Catherine Campbell. And I'm so lucky that I got to know you. I'm so lucky that you became my best friend. And I can't begin to tell you how very proud I am of you. I'm gonna need you to cook when you're down there in New Orleans. I'm gonna need you to make some gumbo while you're there. Um, we're gonna come visit you. A bunch of us are gonna come visit you while you're in New Orleans. Um, um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for being such an amazing friend to me over this past year. Um, you've really been just so welcoming and encouraging, and that's just meant a lot to me. I really enjoy spending my time with you, and you're so sweet, and I know you're going to have a wonderful time at LSU, um, but you need to come back and visit us. Hey, Victoria! Can you hear me? Okay. I don't think she can. I think we're good. Okay, so, so the big concern. I really wanted to make a video for Victoria, you know, just because, right. like, I guess she's been a big impact, whatever. I know. Um, I mean, but I don't really have any positive things to say about her other than, like, we can go eat her food at her apartment, or her hair color is kind of weird. Okay, one time she did buy me lunch. That okay, was, that's positive. But then I had to eat it with her, and that ruined the whole moment. But, like, we yeah. could just skip that. Okay, cut, can we cut that part out? Yeah. Okay, yeah. One time Victoria bought me lunch. Hey, Victoria. It's Nicholas. Um, I hope you had a good day today. And happy graduation. And I love you. Good luck at LSU next year, and I hope you come back and visit. Hey Vic, what's up? Congratulations on graduating next week. I can't believe that we are almost through. It's been like, seems like it was just yesterday we started working at Heritage this past summer and that's been amazing getting to work there, work there with you, getting to know you. You're an amazing friend, you've got a great heart, and you know, we just had some great fun times and some crazy times with those kids out there. 
But, you know, I'm not really the best person at expressing sentimental stuff, so I had to get a little bit of help with this video, so check this out. Hey, Vic. I wish I could take you back to the journal that I wrote the day after that we hung out the first time. It said something like this. I met this girl, Vic, today. I think she's going to work with us this summer, and I think she's going to be amazing. I think the kids are going to love her, and she's going to love them, too. It seems to come really easy for her. I just got to tell you, everything in that journal was true. On behalf of myself and, uh, and a ton of kids uh, from the church that you know and love, um, we think you're great, and I hope you have the best senior night ever. You've been a really, really great roommate and an even better friend. Um, but I am so excited for what the Lord has for you. Um, you just have such a great heart, and um, God's going to use you in some really big ways. Hey, Caroline, it's Dina. Uh, I just want to tell you that I really appreciate you, and I loved co leading small group with you this semester. Um, I'll always think about you when I do Downward Dog. <laughs> And um, I wish you the best and show Canada what the USA is all about, girl. Love you. Bye. I just want you to know that you have a really big heart and um, I really admire you for what you do. Caroline, you know how much you mean to me. I'm going to miss you so much and I'm going to miss, most of all, your incredible yoga abilities. It's just been awesome getting to know you over the past few years and especially over the past semester. And I just know that the future holds a lot of good things for you. and. Um, I wish you the best. You rock. You and Connor rock. Hopefully y'all don't break up before you see this video. Oh yeah, and you'll let me know when you and Connor get engaged, right? Uh, love you. I'm going to miss you. Bye. Colin, my little thesis love. So, um, let's see. What can I say about Colin? Well... You're late to everything, but we know this. And you're gonna do great in nursing school and whatever, ever, ever you set your mind to, you're gonna be great at. You're graduating, but you told me you're gonna be here next year. So, I guess I'll see you next year and we get to play more in murals together, I reckon. I'm thankful for the two years that I've known you and um, thanks for just, I guess, making me one of the bros. Man, is it hot in here? Or is it just you, Colin? First of all, congratulations on graduating. I know it's been a long, tough road for you. You're going to nursing school. It's awesome, because your beard is going to make people so happy, and it's going to find the cure for cancer, it's going to make you famous. You're going to go on Letterman. Letterman's retiring. Never mind. It's still going to make you famous. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, Colin, I didn't mean what to say, so I made note cards. We are friends. Congratulations on graduating. You're handsome. Girls like you. I like you. People generally like you. My dog likes you. But hey man, you're nice. I wouldn't know what else to say, but hey, you're a good seed. I like you. I like your face. I like your beard. You're light. Colin, Audrey Solly was right that day that we were serving lunch at, um, at the Wesley Foundation. She said, you ought to go talk to that guy with the big beard and the Boston hat. I think he'd be really good to help us with our junior high ministry. Man, she was right. You've been awesome. Um, there are some high school guys and some junior high guys that think you're the greatest. You live your life in the way that you show kids Jesus. Um, and man, you, you show Jesus to me too. So uh, for that, um, give you lots of thanks and, uh, and man, hope you have a, hope you have a good senior, uh, senior recognition. Kyle and dog, what can I say? You're my dog, you're my boy. Uh, I'm going to miss you. You've helped me to become the man I am today. Uh, now you got a guitar. Um, Whatever, man. Be... He's going to be here next year anyway. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Nice. Oh, Sarah, dog. What can I say? Um, You're my dog. You're my girl. Uh, I'm going to miss you. You've helped me become the man that I am today. Uh, You're an awesome singer. Uh, You're good at accounting stuff. Whatever, dude. Uh, She's still going to be here next year. Ah, Awesome. And your wonderful voice, like an ability to harmonize and just willingness to be to do the praise band um, really has blessed me and I know so many other people. Just from the beginning, from freshman year, it's crazy to think that <laughs> it's been that long. Um, but even when we were weird, I just 
Really appreciated um, just your personality and your steadiness. Sarah, you've got my blanket and you haven't given it back yet. It's black, it's long, it's got a big eagle in the middle of it. You got to give it back to me before you leave. Hello, Sarah. It's me. I wanted to say I'll miss you. Not a lot, but I'll miss you and your hair and your cool singing voice. Not like me, though. Hey, Sarah! So, okay, first off, praise the Lamb, because this means that we finally turned in our thesis. Hopefully, it's been approved by now. Actually, it's a little throwback. Found a picture of us from freshman year. Our first picture together! So, here's me. Woo! You know, that jumpy picture. And I'm guessing this is you, but you got your hand or your arm in front of your face, so you'll be here and I'll be in New Orleans, but this one doesn't matter. It just makes the heart grow fonder. Um, but I love you and I wish you all the luck in graduate school and yeah, that's it. You're the best wedding date ever. Ladies, if you want to take a date to the wedding, grab Harry. So I thought it was only right if I mentioned um, the Okotoma experience in your senior video because that really shaped our friendship. Um, I just wanted to say thanks again for saving my life and I'm really glad that um, you ended up surviving when I was pushing you under the water trying to save myself. Hey, what's going on, Harry? Man, um, you know, you were the reason why I started coming to the Wesley Foundation. Um, I remember when you drug me in here the first week of uh, fall semester last year. I really appreciate you, you know, leading me towards the Wesley Foundation. And, uh, you know, I hope um, things go well and for you. Um, I always have fun around you, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful time at school. And I think I'll see you next year, so it'll be great. Hi. Okay, so I really want to make a video for Harry. Oh, yeah. But I can't really think of anything positive to say about him. Oh, Harry. I mean, we can um, say that he is, in fact, Harry. He is Harry, Pelly Grosso. Yeah. Oh, that means Harry Bud, I think. Of course not. That's um, a bad thing, so maybe. Oh, yeah. Maybe I should just not do that. Let's just Harry. not do Harry. Not even. Okay. Oh, let's do Victorious. We can talk about her. Yeah, we'll do one. Okay, awesome. Harry Dog, you're my boy. I'm going to miss you. You've really helped me become the woman I am today. You're an awesome cello player. you got a great beard. Whatever. You've really got... Whatever. still going to be here next year. Boom! Got you with your own job! Owned! You're really fun to be around. Like, the night... Uh, that one night we... After softball, when we went to uh, CVS, and you were blaring music out of Madison's car. We're, we're all going to miss you here, even though you're still, you know, going to be around. <laughs> So, Harry, um, over the past few years, we've all gotten to know you, and um, we hope that our friendships have taught you a lot. For example, don't kick people's laptops off their bed. Mm, that's a good one. Um, don't make people go jogging with you in the rain when it's pouring outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, never... Take any form of directions from Olivia Herring. Mm. You'll get yes. that. <laughs> yeah. And also, when you're on the phone with somebody, uh, don't forget to say bye, because that's kind of bye. rude. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, like, it's, okay. it's not that One's hard. Simple. It's really not hard. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on, Harry. Mm -hmm. I had such a great time playing football with you, playing soccer with you, and playing volleyball with you. Um, I wish you the best at all that you um, all that you undertake after you leave uh, the university, and uh, we're definitely going to miss you around here. Take it easy. My first memory of you was uh, through flag football last semester, and that was really cool getting to play sports with you. Congratulations on graduating. Um, I'm really happy that we were able to have small group together this semester, and I just really appreciate your heart, and I'm excited to see um, where God takes you in your future. Hey Laura, um, it was really cool getting to know you through the Wesley and through um, Girl Small Group. You're just a sweet, genuine, and nice person, and I know that you'll go far in your future. Uh, I just really enjoy just like your part in Praise Band and um, your piano skills, which are nice.
Hey, Kayla. Um, we're going to miss you and stuff. It's been awesome getting to know you. But uh, as you can see, we don't even need you anymore. So, um, cool. All right. Bye. I think that God is just going to use you in some great ways as you go on and do your student teaching and as you um, become a teacher. And because it is a needed profession and it is something that he can really, really um, use for good. Hey Courtney, so you're finally graduating, which is super exciting. You are truly special and don't forget that you're beautiful inside and out. You are like the most joyful person I've ever met in my entire life and you're just so much fun to be around even when you run me down in your wheelchair and have to run across campus screaming like a mad woman. And try to put lipstick on me. And lipstick on Kyle. But for real, you're great. Um, so yeah. Stay out of trouble. Yeah, girl, with your crazy self. Stop clip skipping classes, and we'll see you at Starbucks probably. Love you. Love you, Courtney. I just, I just want to tell you how much your friendship has meant to me, and how much um, knowing you and having the opportunity to get to know you has just helped me grow as a person. Hey Kath, I'm so proud of you for graduating and stuff. No, I even wrote a song for you. Catherine! Oh, Catherine! Catherine! From the moment I saw you standing all, 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 all alone, it's not as good as me when I sing because I'm a good singer and you're not that good, but I can give you singing lessons. <laughs> you are a beautiful lady and you're so sweet and you're so talented and I know you're gonna go far in life and we want you to come visit us. Bye. This isn't goodbye and um, I'm really proud of you for graduating but I will see you again probably in Memphis and um, I'm really gonna miss you and I'm gonna miss that I can't see you every day. It has been such a blessing to be your roommate um, and to be your friend and so I'm just so excited about what the Lord's gonna do in your life. Hey, Catherine, it's Trolsey. I just wanted to make a short video to tell you congratulations on graduating soon. I'm really thankful for um, all the lives that you've impacted there through um, leading small groups, through leading songs, and through just being super intentional in your relationships there. Hey, Catherine. So, you know what, graduating and stuff, and you know what, like, I mean, I feel like I know you pretty well, pretty good, you know, freshman year, like we've gone, we've had, you know, so many great times together, but I know you well enough, and I mean, I could honestly say this is probably how we feel about graduation right now. <laughs> Hey, hey, Anne-Marie, Iris, you wouldn't graduate. You're the star pupil of the Wesley. You're victress, and your humor is great. We're so fun. Oh, man. I'm so excited for your future and just for what the Lord has in store for you in, um, in Memphis. And um, thanks for just being my partner in crime and... Um, just for being a great friend to me. Happy graduation! Woo! So exciting! Um, yeah, congratulations on graduating in a week or two weeks or whenever it is. I just can't wait to be living only like an hour or an hour and a half away instead of lots and lots and lots of hours away. Um, but you're gonna do great in optometry school and I just wish you all the best. We're sisters. And I know that you're going to go and uh, look at people's eyeballs and tell them what they need to do to make them better. But I'm going to miss you so much. Yeah, 
so I hope you have a great time in Memphis at your little eye doctor school place thing that you're going to. You're going to be so great. You can take a look at my pupils when it's time you want to know say I want you to get the degree. But, um, so yeah, but you're awesome, Molly. And thanks for putting up with me for all these years. It's so great to just be so open and honest with you from the get go. I really value our friendship and um, I want to continue to stay in touch. So I love you and I just wish you the best. to see us but um we just wanted to impart some words to you as we depart <laughs> um and um just thank y'all so much for saying everything you just said about us and i'm sure we're all crying now and that's really great um so we just wanted to say really what the wesley has meant to us over these past four years um the wesley has been to me a resting place a family a community truth a home away from home friendship growth and we also wanted to charge you guys and encourage you um, by just a short phrase of what we feel like um, y'all could do next year and where we want to see the Wesley go from here. Um, and y'all are very equipped to do that. So I am going to give this to Victoria. <laughs> to go past your comfort zone. To serve the community. To travel without borders. To enhance your faith. To be brave in your faith. To be united in the spirit. And we just want to um, just to say that because we love this place and uh, we love y'all and y'all are leaders and um, God is going to use y'all in mighty, mighty ways. We love you guys. We love you. <laughs>